my head was dipped into sepultura and nine inch nails at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) Next stop on the highway to health, Rio de Janeiro. This huge seaside city of Brazil has a population of 13.6 million, famous for its Copacabana and Ipanema beaches and the iconic Christ the Redeemer statue, which stands tall on top of Mount Corcovado. The city is also known for its sprawling favelas and sexy, colorful carnival festival every spring. And again, along for the ride is our driver, Sepultura's bassist, Paolo. Hello, do you find much difference driving here than driving in the States? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you live in Rio at all or just Sao Paulo? No. Never lived in Rio? Spent a lot of time just months recording there. But Rio and Sao Paulo are very different cities, you know, very different almost cultures. And, you know, I, I start to love Rio even more. Every time I go, I'm always learning something historically and just a fascinating place. It just really captures your heart. Though. There's no other place like it. You know, it's beautiful. After battling through some monsoons, we got shelter at our next stop, Teva. Self-proclaimed vegetable bar, run by chef Daniel Baron. The rain must have helped keep the Brazilian paparazzi away. Our next guest is a megastar, to say the least, Cleo Perez. Cleo is an actress, singer and model. It's not her first time at Teva. She loves this place so much that Cleo has her own mayo at Teva. I went first time to this place here in Rio and I lived here maybe four years ago, three. And then I was a vegan. And when I saw this place, I was like, oh, it's all vegan. Yeah. I gotta come here. And I was addicted. I was born uh, in Recreio dos Bandeirantes. You know, my mom, she was very fierce about being a vegetarian, not a vegan, but a vegetarian. Wow. Yeah, because of Gandhi and all. Right. Yeah, she's a peaceful way of living. Yeah. All right, so your mom's a little bit of a hippie by the sense She is. Things. I love that. She is. That's great. She's an actress. Mm-hmm. She worked a lot, so she didn't really cook. Uh, but we used to do like, when, when she had um, like a day off, we would like cook stuff together, uh, never with meat. But yeah, I wasn't like a big fan of meat when I was a kid. I like carbs. <laughs> Who doesn't? Car- carbitarian here. Oh, yeah, carbitarian. There's a misconception with carbs, though. Yeah. There's good carbs and obviously. Yeah, no, I like the bad carbs. <laughs> so many ideas. You know what? I'm really hungry. I'm so ready to do this. Yes. Where's the food? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I like your style. I, like I didn't eat the whole day. Really? Well, wow, I love it. Just oh, to come bit. here. Okay, so this is with Jaca fruit. Nice. Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. In English. Is that how you say yeah. jackfruit? Yeah. Jackfruit. On the drive here from Parachi, it was just like, like jackfruit, 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 jackfruit. And have you ever eaten jackfruit? Oh yeah, but so it's, good. it's not as common. It's getting more and more popular now in the U.S. But it's a, it's big in vegan cooking because yeah. they do a yeah, lot of like shredded of, pulled pork, yeah. the vegan version. All right. Wow, it looks amazing. Okay, uh, should we? Yes. So you're a rocker metaler at heart, big time. In my teen years, I was listening to Valesh Kapopozu, the Tachi Quebra Barraco. Like funk, like Brazilian oh, okay. funk. Yeah. I was listening to Brazilian pagode. Mm-hmm. You know pagode? It's kind I of like know. a lighter samba. Yes. My head was dipped into sepultura. Nine inch nails at the same time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Why? I don't know, I got some from it. Cleveland. It's a whole backstory. They're from Cleveland, too. Yes. Everybody's from Cleveland. I know. Then I had a band called Seedless. Ooh. <laughs> Seedless. But I was like 18. And that's what I wanted to do with my life. But I was really shy. <laughs> and then I became an actress kind of out of the blue because my, my mom is very famous, my dad too. So I was in a party and one of the directors was like, I need you to do my movie because I see you in my in my main role and 
And I was like, but I'm not an actress. And I was like, I want to be a singer. If I become an actress, nobody's going to understand in Brazil. I stayed in that, in that path for a long time. So my first music experience, I knew it was going to be kind of contro controversy and people would look, be looking like, girl, you're Brazilian. <laughs> Right. I'm speaking English. Right, right, right. But it was my, it was how I felt it, how I needed to, right. to do it. And I have some songs, I had some songs that were written in English. Mm -hmm. And I really needed to, you know, it, like, yeah, it sing out. them. And so Jungle Kid, for me, is, is one of my altars. <laughs> right, right. There's a jungle kid running free, there's nothing left for me. We had a fun chat with Claire. She really is a superstar. After our talk, Daniel had to stick around for some food and drinks, and we got a little insight into his commitment to sustainability. Tell us a little bit about what we're having today. So today we're having hearts of palm spaghetti. That's made out of fresh hearts of palm with a cashew black garlic sauce. Wow. And we add some mushrooms to it. And you guys use all organic projects here at Tech. Yes, all organic and local as much as you can. We try to respect the seasons as well, which is something really important. It's not only about being vegan, but also trying to get the best quality products, best organic products we can get a hold of. We just want it to be naturally organic. We see ourselves as a vegetable restaurant rather than a vegan restaurant. We focus on making the best possible vegetables. We don't want to serve processed foods, that's for sure. Offer something that's not stereotypical. Wow, I'm really excited to try all these, so let's bring out all this amazing food. Oh, the sustainability is something that you're very passionate about here, right? So we started by not having plastic, not having straws. Right. We're all the fabric in this restaurant and in Sao Paulo as well is made from PET bottles, recycled PET bottles. We use reclaimed woods on the tabletops. Tell us the story behind the name of the restaurant. I was researching Hebrew, the meaning of the word Tivoni, <laughs> and I found out that it was vegan. Researching a little further, I found out about uh, the meaning of the word Teva, which is nature. Also has a second meaning that's not as well known, which is to imprint. It all came together because we really want to make a difference in the world. We want to leave our brand and, you know, live like a better future and a better, more sustainable planet. So in a way, like to imprint means that to us, is to leave something like a positive mm -hmm. uh, mark in the, in the world. Being organic is something that's sort of part of our DNA. Right. And uh, treating the, our employees right, like we see it as something that's, you know, it's natural like offering them the best uh, working conditions and then having a, a, a very respectful relationship and then investing in them. So we pay for their English classes, which any, any classes or any kind of course they're interested in mm -hmm. will sponsor them because we feel like something that we should do. Thank you again for really having us. It's, it's been an amazing experience. It really has. Thank you, Dan. Pleasure. Our Thank pleasure. You. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Daniel's commitment to plant-based food and sustainability might just make him the best boss ever. It was such a treat to share his food with superstar actress and singer Cleo Perez. Thanks for watching Highway to Health. Like and subscribe right here. Watch our next video right here. Mm -hmm.